Glenn Rice and Calvin Torbert. Those are the only Flint area players to win Michigan's Mr. Basketball Award until yesterday when they were joined by Beecher's Monte Morris. Man Man saw a dream come true being named the best baller in the state. To understand why, you need to look no further than last Wednesday's game when Monte overcame an injury to lead Beecher to a fourth straight regional title. We have Mr. Basketball's story this week inside Bucktown. to go to half without him. You gotta play now. You gotta play defense or we going home. Do you understand? Everybody gotta step up now. Your safety valve is gone. What you mean? So everybody gotta step up and play. Huh? No. I just wanted to win, just actually. Uh, at this point of the season, anything I gotta do, I'm gonna do it. I told his mom. He said, um, hi, Miss Basketball, mom. And I said, hi, just thinking, you know, he's gonna ask me something else. And he said, no, I'm for real. And I said, you for real? I was in my room, actually. And when my mama talked like that, something had to happen. And I said, no, for real, for real? He said, I'm for real. And I was just like, my day. Said she got something to tell me. And I was like, what is it? Is bad news or what is it? I didn't know. She was like, you won it, son. And then it just felt a shock to me, like, wow. Like, I just wanted to go outside and just yell, just scream. He closed the door and he said, man, man got Mr. Basketball. I didn't cry, I didn't get teary-eyed, but I tell you what, it shook me up because this is it's bigger than basketball. We're here today for the 32nd annual Mr. Basketball Award Good ceremony. Good job. Good job. You don't cry. <laughs> we have our third winner from Flint. Let's give Monty Morris a feature of hand. How crazy is that, man? It's crazy. I want to, um, it's touching me, I'm sorry, but, um, you know, it's an honor to win this award. Um, not only it's an individual award, you know, I'm much of a team player and I want to get thanks to my teammates, you know, without them, none of this is possible. Them pushing me every day, you know, making me the best player I can be, you know, on and off the court, school-wide, too, and I want to thank um, the entire state of Michigan for recognizing me, you know, to win this award, and it's a good thing that I, you know, I bring this back to the Flint community and our entire Beecher community. Being part of Beecher and being part of the Buccaneer family, I feel like I won, you know. Right out of a small Beecher, not Flint, but Beecher, uh, we got a kid that, that we, you know, produced, and um, here we are. I'm, I'm excited. I'm <laughs> Great role model. Um, provides hope for our city. Um, 
kids don't have an excuse where we're from anymore to say we can't do this, we can't do that. We can accomplish anything. It's everything. I mean, it's, it's, it's everything. And we deserve it. As a community, we deserve it. Go Bucks, we deserve it. <laughs> Just look at the kid and what he's done for, for the basketball program. Um, lost one game in two years. Um, win Mr. Basketball. Undefeated season, win a, win a championship. Like, that says a lot. You know, we're gonna make sure we put a huge picture up that'll be up forever until the school crumbles. Uh, but he's the first one, you know, to win Mr. Basketball and beat your history. Will you ever coach another kid like that? I hope so. No matter what he does in life, he's always gonna be known as Mr. Basketball. And Monte says he's not going to celebrate until he's known as Mr. Back-to-Back -back State Champion. Beecher tips off against Detroit Consortium in the quarterfinals in about 10 minutes. And a win or lose, Monte is the best all-around player I have personally ever covered in 11 years. Ryan Slocum, ABC 12 Sports.